नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित पारक एंड आई वर्क एज अ कंसल्टेंट इन पीडियाट्रिक पलमोनोलॉजी एलर्जी एंड स्लीप मेडिसिन एट चिल्ड्रंस चेस क्लिनिक न्यू डेली सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट हाउ डू वी कीप आवर चिल्ड्रन स्किन हेल्दी इफ दे हैव अ कंडीशन नोन एज एटोपिक एक्जिमा और एटोपिक डर्माटाइटिस नाउ एज वी नो एटोपिक डर्माटाइटिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन स्किन एलर्जी व्हिच इज सीन फ्रीक्वेंटली इन यंग चिल्ड्रन Uh, and babies and usually parents do not exactly know how to take care of the skin of the child so there are three basic principles of taking care of the skin the first is to avoid irritants the second is to moisturize the skin and the third is the treatment of flares so let's let's talk about these steps one by one now the now how do we you know uh, avoid irritants so the usual irritants for children with atopic dermatitis could be strong soaps and shampoos which can damage the skin they could be woolen clothes which come in contact with the skin so we should avoid uh, we should avoid woolen clothes directly on the skin rather we should have a layer of cotton and then have a layer of woolen we should avoid strong perfumes scents we should try that the fabric which we are using is is more of cotton than of nylon or or something else we should also make sure that the clothes uh, are washed properly and all the detergent has been uh, drained out we should also make sure that, that the child is not exposed to very hot or very cold climate because that can also be an irritant for the child's skin Now let's understand the second step which is good moisturization of the skin. Now as we know that children with atopic dermatitis they have a very dry skin and it does not retain water properly. The water loses out of the skin. So what we need to do is is to hydrate the skin to keep it well. Now this involves moisturization. So the first step is that we 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 bathe the baby in lukewarm water it should not be very hot for a period of around 10 minutes now after this we should make sure that the skin is is pat dry so we do not rub the skin we just pat dry the skin we should make sure that the skin is not completely dry and it is left a bit wet so the skin is should not be dried vigorously and immediately after doing this a good layer of moisturizer is to be applied on the skin now this moisturizer will seal the water which was there on the skin and this is a technique which is called as a soak and seal technique it is important to understand that the soak and seal technique has to be done daily even if the skin is well so it is something like a prevention and is to it is to be done all over the body even in the areas where the skin is normal the third step involves the treatment of flares or infections so as we know that children with atopic dermatitis they are prone to have skin infections because the skin is broken the skin is damaged and bacteria can easily enter into the skin now skin during bacterial infection it can become red it can become hot and it can ooze pus now during such situations we need to treat these flares with with antibiotics and corticosteroids and you need to consult your dermatologist or your pediatric allergist or your treating pediatrician regarding this all children with atopic dermatitis should have something known as an an as an eczema action plan where uh, it is a written document which tells about how to avoid irritants how to moisturize your skin daily and how to treat flares and when to get in touch with your pediatric allergist so if your child is suffering from atopic eczema get in touch with your pediatric allergist to get an asthma to get an eczema action plan and to keep your child healthy so for more information you can log on to our website ankitparak.com